Do you know what's bound to happen sooner or later in any agency client relationship? Ever have those tricky client chats that really put our patience, diplomacy, and professionalism to the test? We all have, right? Yup, you're gonna hit that moment where an uncomfortable conversation is unavoidable. I'm David from Agency Analytics. We spoke with an agency leader who's also a mental health therapist and a group practice owner. Jessica Tapana has had her share of these tough client conversations. With over 15 years of coaching communication skills to her counseling clients, you can bet that she's gathered some nifty tricks along the way. They're the secret sauce of steering clear of those awkward defensive moments and wrapping up your conversations on a positive note. Let's dive into three of these. All right, here's Jessica's scoop on the first golden rule when it comes to dealing with tricky client talks. You've got to pick the right way to communicate. But we also actually say to people, what are your preferred communication methods? Like we'll use whatever channels you prefer. Do you prefer us to ring you, email you, WhatsApp you, um, and how frequently and how would you like your updates? We'll ask them all of this. Now, not every chat is the same, right? Sure, emails are handy for some stuff, but when things get intense and emotions start going haywire, it's all about going face to face, whether it's in person or over Zoom. There's something magical about being able to see your client's expressions and body language. It creates a personal connection and shows your genuine interest and concern. Don't rely solely on emails to dodge those awkward face to face encounters. And always make your care and concern known through your body language. But don't confuse professionalism with the lack of emotion. Be human. Next, Jessica talks about validating your clients. It's an art, my friends. The key here is to never argue with your clients. Never argue with your clients. Listen to their concerns and see if there is any common ground that you can build upon. No matter how wild or irrational their point of view may seem, remember that everyone has their perspective. Take a moment to understand where they're coming from, ask questions, and acknowledge their experience. See if there's any common ground you can build upon. So don't dive into defending your stance without understanding where your client is coming from. Now, here's a tough one, according to Jessica. Focus on the present moment. While facing an irate customer, you might think, I did extra work for them and they're not even grateful. But bringing up the past won't help. It's easy to let past misunderstandings and grievances color your current conversation with a client. Focus on what your client is saying. Actively listen. Stay objective to respond more thoughtfully. Generally, I found that most difficult client requests are caused because we have mismanaged the relationship or set bad expectations. The biggest challenge is realigning and rebuilding. Don't let the past seep into this conversation and color your objectivity. We want to make sure that those clients feel valued and appreciated and that we're providing a good level of service to them. And even when we mess up on things or that, you know, we're transparent that, okay, yeah, we, we didn't do this correctly. We need to start over, but that they have that, that trust in you that you're going to do it right. In general, Jessica warns about four common pitfalls to avoid getting defensive or taking things personally, stay calm and objective. Even when a client's criticism feels like a personal attack. Number two, ignoring or dismissing concerns. Make an effort to understand the root cause of your client's issues and don't brush them off. Number three, neglecting clear guidance and leadership. Explain your recommendations and why they are essential. And number four, avoiding difficult conversations. Hoping issues will resolve themselves is rarely a successful strategy. Confront challenges head on. Always remember to maintain professionalism. You never know what kind of situation your clients may be in, so handle the conversation with grace and poise. As Jessica explained, navigating those tricky conversations doesn't have to be a nightmare. Always stay calm and make sure that you handle the situation with respect. Uh, sometimes it can be difficult to find the best way forward, but if you work through the problem carefully, uh, a good solution can normally be found. It's all about choosing the right communication method, validating your clients, and staying in the present moment. See the complete article from Jessica with lots of actionable tips from other agency veterans on our blog. The link is in the description below. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow agency folks. Until next time, stay awesome.